In depth tonight, Brian Sweet was a football standout at both Punahou and Utah State. He landed a chance of a lifetime with the NFL's Detroit Lions, then found himself in the fight of his life. Tonight, KITV 4 CJ Horgan reports Sweet's now a source of motivation for people like his not so little cousin. Six foot four outside hitter Makua Maramoto of Hawaii Baptist Academy was the only Hawaii senior in the class of 2020 committed to play volleyball at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Because of COVID-19, his dreams on hold right now, but the nightmare he and his family are living is not. Love B may be the only way he's keeping it together. For the Rainbow Warrior freshman, his recent pain of ink to skin pales in comparison to the pain endured over the past year. You don't truly know how strong you are until being strong is your only option. His uncle Howard, a lifelong role model, died of cancer last August. Right before he passed, he was saying how excited he was to watch me play basketball. And it broke my heart that he couldn't. Uncle Howard's now 28-year-old son, Brian, Makua's cousin, is more like an older brother. Ever since the day I was born, he's just been there. He accomplished everything he set out to accomplish in the sports world, but that's not even what comes to the front of my mind. Who he is is really about how he treats people, how he carries himself. And just a month after losing Uncle Howard. My dad was just sitting with his head in his hands and my mom was just kind of holding him. Brian was diagnosed with soft tissue sarcoma, a form of cancer affecting fewer than one one hundredth of a percent of all cancer patients. And he has, you know, they have a lump on his head and by his organs, and it's stage four. Makua received the news of the terminal detection during his senior year of high school. I went to school for about two to three weeks after that without really hearing a single word my teachers were saying. The COVID-19 pandemics prevented Makua from seeing his surely immunocompromised best friend and cousin, but Brian did drop off this note at a drive-by graduation party in May. He gave me a card and he signed it, love be. And last Wednesday, Makua had those words inked forever over his heart. Look at that. I have some really big goals for where I want to go, but I think the biggest goal that I've set for myself in my life is following in the footsteps of my role model uh, in becoming the type of man that Brian is. Love B is the motivation of a lifetime. TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News.